one of the most popular spots here in Romania is the Transfagarashan road and uh, I'm about to climb it up it's basically a road that winds up into the mountains the Fagarashan mountains which I will hike in tomorrow and uh, it's one of the most famous places here everybody wants to see it I didn't necessarily want to see it but I have to drive it anyway so I will see how it is My room here in Cabana Bulialak. The room cost 180 lei per person and it's a single room. And the shower is apparently on the second floor, which is not really an issue. But let me give you a quick tour. So, a lavabo, toilet, me, oh, and the soap is included as well. Nice. Here, single bed small table but the best thing of all is the balcony so this is the view from the balcony the lake is on the other side I can show you over the roof and the camping right there is 30 lei per night apparently so let me show you Good morning, I'm here in Romania at Bulia Lake at about 2000 meters altitude and I'm about to hike to the highest mountain in Romania, 30 kilometers, about uh, almost 2000 meters elevation gain, so uh, yeah, let's go. A little bit background information on this hike. Uh, the hike is about 30 kilometers, well more like 28 probably. Elevation gain is um, 2500 almost I think. Um, you need to cross several peaks. I just crossed one. There are different ways of doing this. You could do it in one day, in two days or in three days. And I'm doubting if I will do it in two days or in one day. Um, so there is a cabana, a hut, a mountain hut in uh, Podrago, it's close to a lake, you can also come there and um, a lot of people go there the first day, then the second day they go to Moldoviano, they return to Podrago and then the third day they return to Balia, Ibulia. but I might go today already to Moldoviano and then go to Podrago and the second day just return to Bulia Lake or if I really feel like it but I think I should have left maybe like one hour earlier uh, do it in one day so go back to Bulia in one day there are people that do it a lot I think and it's totally doable if you're fit I think I could do it but uh, I think I didn't leave early enough for that so you really need to leave 
just after sunrise and uh, you will hike probably for about 13 14 hours I would say depending on your speed of course so yeah I will see how it goes maybe I will do Moldaviano the second day not sure yet I will see mountains may be high but my spirit is even higher quote of the day <laughs> it's definitely not an easy uh, an easy hike I wouldn't even call this a hike it's more like a climb alpine trekking or how you call this okay just uh, did the steepest thing up ever and now the steepest thing down ever but I think it's not the last one yet but the good news is I can see Moldoviano already and I can tell you it's not so close <laughs> it will be a tough one and I'm about seven kilometers in and I made it to a beautiful glacier lake. Uh, I'm also almost at Podrago, which is a cabin where I sleep tonight. But first I will head to Moldoviano and some people told me it's six more hours. So yeah, it's not done yet. I'm not even halfway yet, I guess. <laughs> but it's really nice here. And I still have energy, so it's okay. reach Podrago it's right there you can see the cabin and some lakes uh, that's where I will be heading back but um, yeah it's I hope I will make it before dark because it's getting quite late and I still have a big route to do but uh, yeah let's keep going I have a flashlight so if it's necessary I can use a flashlight hopefully not about 12.5 kilometers into the hike and uh, right behind me you can see Moldoviano right there 
And there is the Vista Mare, I think it's called. And uh, according to some people I just met, I think it should be one hour and a half more. But uh, quite some elevation gain. I think it's at least poof, three, maybe 500 meters elevation gain. So uh, yeah, wish me luck. <laughs> there. This is really no joke. <laughs> but I'm almost there. Wow. I don't think I ever done a trek as hard as this one. Probably not. <sighs> I've been crawling for the last 20 minutes, the last peak to Vista Mare, and then Moldoviano. That's not so far and not so difficult apparently. So, almost there. Oh man, I was so happy when I saw the sign of Vista Mare. So nice to be there. But uh, I'm not yet at uh, Moldoviano, and I have uh, quite a difficult road ahead, I think. It seems, it seems a bit sketchy. I need to do all this until there. And the fog is rolling in. But uh, yeah, now that I'm here, I need to do it, of course. So let's go. made it to the roof of Romania, the Moldoviano, and uh, I think it's time to open a beer now, to celebrate, right? I still can't believe it, that I did it. This was definitely something uh, out of my comfort zone, no doubt about that. But I did it. And uh, if you're wondering, from uh, Vista Mare to Moldoviano, it's like maybe 20 minutes, but it's quite sketchy. So uh, it's not for the faint of hearted, or how you say that. If you're a bit scared of heights, I think it will be tricky for you. It's definitely uh, with chains and walking on small ridges and it's very beautiful but it's uh, yeah tricky. And now I'm on my way back to Chalet Podrago. There's actually somebody that I just met and she's heading back to Bolia and it's yeah pretty late already. So I was darting, should I also go back? But uh, I think she's much faster than me. <laughs> so yeah. Probably yeah, it's not a good idea. I will just go to Podrago. Hopefully there's a space for me because uh, I reserved, well I didn't really reserve. I sent a text to the owner but they don't have cell phone reception most of the time they say. So I didn't get any reply. So maybe I'll have to sleep on the floor or whatever, I have no idea. Hopefully I find a spot. I can get a shower because whew, I need it. And then tomorrow, just easy to back to Bulia. So it will be nice. I can really enjoy the views because I have the whole day for not so much kilometers. So it will be all right. <sighs> okay, now I'm going to focus on my road, on the trail actually, because it's getting foggy, really foggy. So I, the visibility is a bit less, but uh, see you uh, when I get there or when something interesting happens. Thank you. 
So yesterday I arrived at Podrago uh, cottage and I will give you like a quick tour so you have an idea what's going on here, how it looks and everything. And uh, this is one of the bedrooms actually, let me show you. All bunk beds and there are three more rooms in 70 spaces in total I think. Let's continue the tour. Here we have cold water, washing, drinking. I'm doing a quick tour for the YouTube. <laughs> I'm just showing everything. No, no, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. I will show everything. They bring everything in with donkeys, so they're preparing the donkeys now to get some uh, more stuff. These are the toilets. area, dining room, Let's go for another day of hiking. Just left uh, Cottage Podrago. I'm heading to Bulia Lake, which shouldn't be that far. I mean, like four hours probably, four to five hours hiking. <sighs> Didn't have the best uh, night of sleep, but it will be all right. So let's go. So I'm about three kilometers into the hike um, and I didn't eat yet. Actually, I didn't have breakfast. Uh, at Podrago you can have breakfast, I think omelette and stuff like that, but I didn't because I have a lot of food with me. And uh, so yeah, now it's time to eat something. Melted cheese, bread, ketchup. Why not? It's pretty good. Hmm. I have a blister on my foot, you know, it's really annoying. Yeah, I, I have like four or five. <laughs> oh shit, that's even worse. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> yeah, if you want to see nice landscapes, you need to suffer a bit. <laughs> So, just met two guys and uh, they warned me that there would be a snow patch or more like an ice patch where I have to walk over and uh, I'm right in front of it now. Uh, it's not so long and I could make a small detour. I will see if it's very slippery, I will make a small detour and uh, avoid the ice because I don't have the hiking sticks, you know. Okay, it was not so bad after all. My shoes have a lot of grip, so it was okay.
Right, so I made it back to uh, Vatra Lake and uh, I'm very excited because my feet are a bit painful and uh, I'm hiking already, well, I'm on the way already, five hours and a half pretty much and behind that um, mountain basically is uh, Bulyalak so I guess probably one kilometer and a half and I'm there so maybe one hour or something uh, but I think the heaviest part is done, maybe just a little bit here but after that is all descending which is also a bit heavy but not heavy on the on the heart or on the bread but more on the knees but yeah so uh, this adventure is almost over very excited about that but it was a, a real adventure I really I'm glad that I did it so Moldoviano it was nice it was nice I made it back to Bolia Lake my feet are really painful I'm glad I did the long part uh, the first day that was definitely a good idea uh, I changed my shoes now fresh socks which definitely makes a difference as well and I'm trying to find something to eat now and to drink a well-deserved soup that will be great